Yo, Wagwan, hope you are having a great day. By the end of this video, you're going to know exactly how to record vocals in FL Studio 20 or pretty much FL Studio, any FL Studio, I assume. I assume. I've only done this in FL Studio 20, so I don't know how it works for any other FL Studio, but I'm sure that you can probably do this in the old FL Studios too. But let's get into it this is going to be really really quick if you don't know who i am i'm jay carter ray from jaycarterray.com teaching you how to be better at music online business and online marketing this is the number one spot for creatives and musicians that don't want to be a starving artist so if that sounds like you click that subscribe button and maybe check out the rest of the content on the channel let's get into it real real quick all right so here we are in fl studio and what we need to do is actually bring up the mixer. Now the mixer is the most important part of this because this is where your audio is actually going to come in. Now I am using uh, audio box USB matched up with my Rode NT1A. So in order to get this in an insert, I'm going to need to change this up here, which is basically, you know, in the insert basically. So I go to in, one two let's actually mute this for now in one if i do in one then it's all uh monoed out if i do in one to two then it will be on the left hand side of the actual you know thing so here that's a bit of an echo but as you can see my audio is actually coming in to fl studio which is the most important thing now, how do we record? Uh, to record, very, very easy. You basically just press, I'm pressing R right about now. So this arms this to record, and then I can go to the song and press the play button. And now it should be recording. Doesn't look like it's recording though. So let's see. Cause I'm not sure if I can record whilst i'm also recording on the um you know the screen record so let's actually unmute this because i think that might be necessary and let's try again testing 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 yeah 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 it seems like you can't mute it but let's see if we take off the master track, if it can still go through. Yeah. So the way this works is if you want, um, if you want to insert where you basically don't hear it when it's coming in, you just need to disconnect it from the master track like that. But if you turn it off here, then you won't be able to get the, get it to come through at all. What I'd usually do with this is I'd, I'd fling on a bunch of effects in it, but let's not do that in this video. This video is just teaching you how to record vocals. I'll do videos on how to mix your vocals and how to get them ex exactly how you want them to. So let me know in the comment section down below how you want me to go about those videos, like what kind of sounds you want me to replicate over there. But as you can see, we've just recorded some vocals in here. And if we play back, testing, 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 testing. As you can see, yeah, this yeah. automatically goes to the um, master channel, even if this is not connected. So what happens here is we can then connect this to whatever track we want to, and then we can put the effects on after that. I highly, listen to me, listen to me right now. This is very important. I highly suggest you record your vocals dry meaning no effects whatsoever yeah and then you basically send this to an insert track with the effects now what this does is then you could just record it again and, and have this as the main audio thing but it gives you the ability to edit your audio file now if you was to fling you know all your effects on this track and whatnot and then record it then your recording is going to be recorded with all those audio effects and that's not great like that's okay at this specific point in time but if down the road i realize that there's something messed up and i need to change it or i don't like this effect the way it's sounding like that then you can't do anything because that 
those effects are hard coded into the audio. So make sure you don't add any effects. What I generally do is I'd create a, a insert for me to record in like this. And then I'd actually send this to another um, track like this, which would have all my effects on it. So insert here, all my audio goes through here with no effects. So if I record it, it will have no effects. If I play it back, I'd hear all the correct effects going on because it all come through this uh, audio insert where I've actually got the effects on there. So that's how I'd suggest it. You have one setup with no effects and then you send it to another track with the effects so you can hear where it actually sounds like and you can send basically all of it to the track with the effects and then have the effects go back to the master channel so you don't hear this channel without the effects whatsoever and that is how you record vocals in FL Studio 20 this is the perfect solution to recording vocals trust me I hope this video has helped you out but because you have stuck through to the end I do have a special gift for you I've got five of my best beats that you can download right now for absolutely free link will be in the description down below or go to jcarteray.com forward slash free beats grab those while they're still available and check them out let me know what you think of them these are for profit beats so you can upload them to spotify all that sort of stuff more information when you click on the link in the description okay i just realized that i needed to add something that you absolutely need to know basically when you are recording in fl studio you need to set the buffer length to the lowest available amount so you need to set it to 256 and when you're mixing you want to send it to 2048 now what this does is when you're actually recording if you do not have it set to 256 if you set if you set it too high then your recording will be out of time now when you set it lower it will be in time and also you don't want a bunch of effects going when you're recording at the same time that will help it be in time if you turn off effects and whatnot and when you're mixing you want to change the buffer length to the highest point because if you have it too low then you'll see a lot of skipping you'll see that your machine basically can't handle what's going on and you won't be able to hear everything smoothly so you need to pump that up when you're mixing and mastering and doing all that sort of stuff so keep that in mind yeah very very important my question of the day is do you record your songs using fl studio because you know i don't know how many people actually use fl studio to record songs let me know if you do or if you use something else let me know how you use it it's, it's going to be really really interesting it would be really interesting to get involved in that conversation and i'll see you in the next video where you'll learn more about music online business and online marketing peace out